Sister Wives Christine Brown's husband David Woolley says first year of marriage has been a hell of a ride. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. David Woolley wrote a sweet message to wife Christine Brown on Instagram one week after their one year wedding anniversary. I was in Sedona a few weeks ago. It's really really pretty there. Just like Christine is David 60 captioned his post which featured a selfie of the couple i'm so glad she found me and stalked me this year has been a hell of a ride she's the most thoughtful loving caring person i'm enjoying this ride and just want to keep riding he also referred to christine 52 as the love of my life in a hashtag the two started dating at the beginning of 2023 after the sister wives star left cody brown and moved to utah they tied the knot just months later on October 7, 2023. In honor of their first anniversary, Christine wrote a touching tribute of her own to David on Instagram. Happy anniversary. Gosh, I love you, she gushed. It's been incredible to have you as my partner. I feel so blessed to be married to you and I look forward to the rest of our lives together. Christine was with Cody, 55 for nearly 30 years when she decided to end their spiritual marriage in 2021. The exes share six children, including one minor daughter, Truly. In September, Christine sued Cody for retroactive child support and custody of the 14-year-old. The teenager has been living with Christine in Utah since she moved there in the fall of 2021. Cody still lives in Flagstaff, Arizona. Earlier this week, Christine appeared on Radio Andy and was asked to describe her ex in three words. Deadbeat dad, she began. Sorry, that's two, but that can be two. Deadbeat dad and, oblivious. In October 2022, a source exclusively told in touch that Cody was not, present, in Truly's life. Cody, won't go anywhere, so Christine has to accommodate Cody, the source said. He's still paranoid about COVID and everything else. So, if Christine is not choosing to do the transporting and making it happen, nor would she put Truly through any of this stress, then Cody won't have a relationship with Truly. He would have to leave the nest to see his daughter. Christine, Janelle Brown and many of their children have accused Cody of favoring his fourth wife, Robin Brown, and their kids over the rest of the family. These feelings intensified during the COVID-19 pandemic when Cody wanted the family to follow strict guidelines that only Robin and her kids agreed to, leading him to spend even more time at Robin's house. Like Christine, Janelle, 55, and Mary Brown have also left Cody, leaving Robin, 46, as his only remaining wife. However, season 19 of Sister Wives has shown the strain that the family's new dynamic has taken on their marriage. We're probably doing the worst we've ever done in our marriage, Robin admitted. It's been tough. It's been tough between us. Cody also added that the two were, struggling. Sister Wives star, McKelty Brown hasn't always gotten along with her parents or her siblings. However, with the family unraveling, she has decidedly played, Switzerland, to keep the peace. However, some people don't think she is truly neutral. Now she seems, giddy, about the attention she is getting while Cody Brown is feuding with her siblings. McKelty Brown struggled with her siblings. Undoubtedly, growing up, McKelty Brown pattern didn't think she fit in with her family. When Robin Brown entered the picture, she felt like Robin truly saw her. Even though Christine Brown Woolley and Cody Brown admittedly had a difficult time with McKelty, Robin was able to help her. In an earlier episode of Sister Wives Season 19, Cody Brown admits that McKelty and Robin had a, really, really special experience. Together. Furthermore, Cody said that the bond improved the relationship that he and Christine had with McKelty. In a confessional in season 19 episode 3, McKelty tearfully expresses, When Robin first joined the family, I was trying to figure out who I was and she made me feel special. And she made me feel seen. Robin was there for me when I needed somebody. But as the season continues, Viewers are starting to see McKelty enjoying her siblings feuding with her dad. McKelty Brown is flattered by Cody and Robin Brown's attention. When Robin and Cody Brown come to meet the twins, 
fans notice that McKelty Brown Padron almost revels in the fact her siblings and Cody are feuding. Cody offers to buy and build a house for McKelty and Tony Padron in Flagstaff, as so they can move in and help with the babies. Furthermore, he says there is something, very special, in her. Likewise, Robin says that McKelty, sees more of the truth, about both sides of the family. Admittedly, McKelty says she is, very proud, to introduce her dad to the twins. Cody says, while Christine and I have been breaking up, McKelty and I have been healing. Seemingly, since Cody is fighting with many of the brown kids, McKelty comes out looking, golden, now. On Reddit, Sister Wives fans point out that McKelty seems to be happy that her dad isn't getting along with Maddie Brown Brush, Gabriel Brown, and several other estranged siblings. At first, one user says, McKelty is so. Then, they elaborate, am I the only one who thinks she was being very odd in this latest episode? It was like she was almost happy that she's one of the only odd kids to be in, good favor, with Cody. I just can't wrap my head around someone wanting him their life when he's treated people she claims she loves so terribly. Her and Tony irk me. I think she's a kid that wanted both of her parents to love and accept her. Now that they do she's giddy. She was a neglected kid who wants to be seen as favorable in her father's eyes because she feels the need to people please. They all need therapy. Other fans weigh in after the initial poster brings up McKelty Brown lavishly soaking in the compliments from Cody and Robin Brown. She just gets excited that she is getting the attention she never got as a child. She reverts back to a child excited that daddy will spend time with her. Agree. And I had to laugh at Cody saying he sees something special in her. He never did before Robin came along and fed him that line. In fact, I seem to remember him and all of the other parents for that matter complaining a lot about McKelty. It was so gross when Cody said she is special, which in context was basically just saying she's the only kid who is staying loyal to him. It was awkwardly apparent he still barely likes her but is happy to parade her out as the loyal kid. See, this is what you get if you stay loyal, I'll offer to let you move into a house next to rob him and our kids. A direct slap in the face to his other kids. Another Sister Wives fan thinks that Cody Brown makes McKelty Brown uncomfortable. I didn't see it that way she looks very uncomfortable around Cody. When he talked about having a big house for them to come to she said never or hell no. He made a comment about being so happy about another baby and she was snarky and was like after 18 kids. Just the way she looks at him seemed weird. They seem way more comfortable with Robin. If she wanted his attention so badly she would have forced her daughter to hug him she just looked at her and was happy with her. Told her to give him pounds instead. Her relationship is with Robin not Cody. You can dislike like your father but still be happy you are getting attention from them. I agree. I think she's very guarded with him because, logically, she knows he will disappoint her. But, emotionally, she still needs and wants. His validation. This sounds like someone who isn't willing to force a kid to hug someone, I wouldn't either. Getting her to give him a fist is another way of offering contact. Does Ariella Brown's hatred come from her mother, Sister Wives star, Robin Brown? Cody Brown shared Ariella dislikes his ex-wife. Christine Brown Woolley. Yet, she is just a child so that hatred had to be taught to her by someone. Ariella Brown was very encouraging when Christine Brown Woolley and Cody Brown were struggling in their marriage. She suggested the two of them go on dates but Christine was not so sure that was the solution. Back when that happened, Sister Wives fans felt Ariella had been influenced. Now, a Reddit thread has been started to back this theory about Ariella Brown. The op wrote this. Ariella said, I hate Christine. Let's not dismiss the complex layers in that. That child didn't say that for no reason, out of nowhere. Robin is 100% planting seeds in her children's minds. So, did others believe this was all Robin's doing? She doesn't know Christine and has no reason to hate her other than the sh asterisk t she hears her parents say. Cody said that is a way to make Christine look bad and him look good. But if he's telling the truth, he's making himself and Robin look bad BC they're the ones putting those ideas in Ariella's head. Other family members. It was also suggested that it was not just Cody and Robin Brown who were feeding this. 
to Ariella Brown, her parents or her grown siblings that still live in the house. Probably both. She has very faithful sisters in Aurora and Brianna Brown who could have said something with her overhearing. Some Sister Wives fans felt it made no sense for Ariella to hate someone she barely knew. More so, they felt if she did know her, she would adore Christine which could be a fear. Yes, that little tenderoni doesn't even know Christine. And if she did she would adore her. Like the rest of them. How can Christine not be involved to the point Robin has to point out who people are in picture and her kids hate Christine? That's the reason Sobin kept them all separate from the beginning. She didn't want her kids knowing how much better the other mother was in getting attached to Christine. It seems clear that Ari has been heavily influenced by the adults in her life, mainly her mother. Whether or not she can outgrow that and become a happy and positive adult is yet to be seen. During the Sunday, October 13th episode of Sister Wives, Gabe Brown revealed he demanded accountability from his father. He and Cody Brown have had a tumultuous relationship since the pandemic but Gabe has always tried. Gabe has also been one of the few kids to tell his father how it is and not sugarcoat anything. That has been hard for his dad and could have squashed any chances of reconciliation. Growing up, Gabe Brown was very close to Cody. Brown. There was a whole montage of them being best buddies but Cody has made it clear that once his kids hit 18, they are on their own. That is not completely true as he still coddles Robin Brown's three eldest. Things really fell apart during the pandemic and Cody was very picky when it came to who he chose to spend his time with. He felt Janelle Brown and Christine Brown Woolley's homes were unsafe and called their children disobedient. However, Robin Brown and her kids were very loyal to Cody so that prompted him to stay with her. Many of the Brown children believe that the pandemic was just an excuse for Cody to be with Robin full-time and he ran with it. Gabe was very hurt by his dad during a pivotal episode that broke many hearts. Cody had COVID and he called Gabe, knowing he had been through it. Gabe offered the advice that he could and they hung up but what Cody forgot was that it was also his son's birthday. He called back later to send birthday wishes but that broke Gabe and things have really never been the same. As Gabe Brown was spending time with his mother, he shared how he and his father could mend fences. According to People, it was all on Cody. I told Dad that if he doesn't change and he can't take accountability, then I just won't ever see him again. And I'm perfectly okay with that. This came after Cody and Gabe had tried to speak but it was very uncomfortable. Cody kept trying to get his son to apologize to him. Not happening. The conversations, which Cody Brown shared he had tried to reach out to Gabe, were very basic. Gabe Brown detailed that they started like this. It was like strange because he was like, hey, I miss you. And then, he was like, he kept, like, phrasing it like I owed him an apology. That was not going to happen so Gabe took matters into his own hands. He let his father know how they could have a real and meaningful relationship. Eventually, I was just like, hey, unless you're, like, actually ready to have a relationship and fix things, then we're not going to talk anymore. He came back a couple of days later and texted me. He's like, hey, I've been like thinking about what you've been saying. I forgive you, please forgive me. I was like, forgive me for what? Like, what's going on here? It was then that Gabe decided he was perfectly fine with not having his dad in his life anymore. Could things get back to normal and would he be willing to work it out with his father? In Gabe's mind, it was all on Cody to truly make it right, and an act of God. During Sister Wives, fans are hearing Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown's thoughts about their former marriage as they continue to finalize their divorces. But Cody Brown admits he wasted years married to the wrong person, which triggers backlash. Cody Brown avoids the issues. During the last season of Sister Wives, Cody Brown talked about how if there were issues in a marriage, it was great to have many wives to help, water down, the problems. When he was having trouble with Mary Brown early on, he knew it was time to add a new wife into the mix. Then, as they started to fight and he couldn't find peace with just those two, he added another, and so on. However, his process of sweeping the arguments under the rug led to three wives terminating their marriage. Undeniably, 
Cody was fed up with Christine by the time she chose to leave. Likewise, he had strung Mary Brown along for years without pulling the plug. However, he somewhat acted like he would like Janelle Brown to stick around. But Cody has one, loyal, wife still standing by his side, Robin Brown. In the latest episode, Cody gets hit between the eyes after avoiding text messages to discuss one of his relationships. Mary forces the issue of divorce. Although Cody Brown seems to get pretty fired up that his kids won't call him back or return his texts, he doesn't find it as important to treat his wives with equal respect. Both Janelle and Mary Brown spoke about having a difficult time getting Cody to respond to their requests. When Mary didn't hear back from Cody regarding a release from the AUB, she moved forward without him. She said, I was granted what is called in our church a release, which is basically the equivalent of a divorce. But he was terribly hurt by the words that the church chose to use to describe him. He said he wouldn't disclose them. However, Mary mentions that she knew Cody wouldn't like they declared one reason for the divorce as abandonment. With the release, they are no longer bound to each other after 33 years of marriage. Robin Brown gave Cody Brown advice to hold on to the spiritual bond with Mary knowing that God had a plan to work it out. However, Cody regrets waiting so long to end it. While Robin says that Cody is beside himself with the emotions of splitting, Cody talks about what a relief the divorce is. Furthermore, he says, oh, I'm absolutely relieved that it is done. Then, he adds, it's sad, it's heartbreaking, but I'm relieved that it is done. Additionally, he talks about wishing he had not wasted his time with his marriage to Mary. Likewise, he says he moved on a long time ago, but was afraid to rip the band-aid off. For instance, his fear was based on what Mary would do to him since she was never loyal to him ever. Admittedly, he knew his reputation would be trashed if he got divorced. Cody finally tells Mary he wasted years in a marriage with her. Since the bond of eternal marriage was cut, his tongue was free to lash out at Mary with all the vinegar that had brewed up inside. Looking ahead to next week, Cody Brown is finally voicing his disdain for Mary Brown. Now that he has the divorce, he is ready to confront her. As he drives up to her home, he says, you know what really sucks. It's not divorce that sucks. It's marrying the wrong person. Furthermore, he had bottled up the truth to avoid what Mary would do to him. However, even trying to dissuade her from spoiling his reputation, she took decisive action and dissolved their empty marriage. But Mary also wasted her time thinking they could repair their spiritual connection. When the preview for next week's episode shows Cody talking about her being the wrong person, she retorts, what sucks is marrying the wrong person and not having the decency to tell her until 32 years later. And even more bitterly, Cody declares, I wish I wouldn't have ever married her. While he simmers in his hate, he doesn't account for what it would mean if he had never married her. Their child, Leon, wouldn't exist. Likewise, Mary has previously pointed out that his soulmate Robin was only 10 or 12 years old when she and Cody were walking down the aisle. Some fans remember that Mary Brown was tempted to stray from Cody Brown when a catfish, Sam Cooper, gave her the attention she was missing. Seemingly, Cody is saying that Robin pushed him to stay longer in the marriage than he ever intended. Cody said, Robin felt that if I waited on God, that things could change for mine and Mary's relationship. Likewise, he stated, and that was advice that I took, and I waited. As time went on, I realized that it was never really going to work. Both Cody and Mary have stated in the past that they wanted the right to tell their story and are now spilling the tea. In the upcoming episode, Cody and Mary will sit down face to face and hash out why they wasted each other's time for so many years. Sister Wives star, Robin Brown had a pity party for herself on Sunday, October 13th. It was too much for viewers to take and it pushed them off of the deep end. So, what was so wrong with what she said and did during her dramatic moment? One thing Sister Wives fans can count on in Robin Brown will inevitably cry. Gabe Brown called her out and said she had a victim complex which viewers have been saying for many seasons. Unfortunately, they have grown tired of her always having a pity party weekly. 
She was devastated when her sister wives began to leave because she had dreams. Robin had always hoped they would grow old together and sit on the porch in their rocking chairs, watching their grandchildren. She has cried repeatedly about the life that has gotten away. Now, it is the holidays and for many years, all of the children and wives would gather. They would have these lavish and large Thanksgiving meals and Christmases. It was over the top but now, even Mary Brown does not even want to celebrate with Cody and Robin. She has her release from the church so she is done. This prompted Robin to do a confessional in her closet, crying about how she missed what she used to have and how she had to put on a happy face for her children. Sister Wives star Mary Brown seemed to think the floodgates were about to open once her exact location came out while this TLC celebrity spent the week in NYC. But she soon learned she dashed away for nothing. Sister Wives, Mary Brown, NYC 101. This week Mary Brown did her Fridays with Friends episode from NYC. While her BFF Jen Sullivan was on the screen, she couldn't get a word in edgewise. Mary walked the streets of the Big Apple while putting herself on live stream for her followers. For a short while it looked as if a stranger followed her wherever she went. Fans thought it was odd until Mary finally introduced the woman as Melanie, a friend of hers. So, Mary Brown finally divulged that the woman following was indeed her friend and not a stalker. After that, the sister wives celebrity walked with her friend close behind. As Mary walked along she got a quick lesson in New York lingo. So, as these two made their way to a play they had tickets for, Mary chatted with her followers. Mary's fame lukewarm in NYC. A few times Mary Brown mentioned some type of precaution she took, so her whereabouts remained under wraps. But as they walked, her friend took a GPA reading and announced where they were. Then Mary told her she shouldn't do that. Then she added that her friend needed to take a Media 101 course. But, her friend, who is a New Yorker, informed Mary Brown she didn't need to worry as New Yorkers are too cool to hunt her down. The Sister Wives star said she took a cute picture of herself outside the hotel where she was staying. Although she won't post that photo until after she leaves. This way, Sister Wives fans won't hunt her down. The entire time Mary was on her walking talking video, no one approached her, recognizing her as a Sister Wives celebrity. So either her friend is correct that New Yorkers are too cool or maybe the people in New York are just so used to seeing big time stars that a reality show celebrity just doesn't phase them too much. Sister Wives, home again. Mary landed in NYC last Sunday, and she was due to return home on Saturday, so she should post the pics soon. The Sister Wives mom of one was careful about not letting her fans know where her location in the city was at any given time. But it seems her worries might have been for nothing. Mary Brown seemed to have visions of a crowd showing up if they found out where she was. But her friend seemed to think that NYC was the one place she'd be safe from feeling crowded by her fans. Even while standing in line to get into the play, no one seemed to recognize Mary Brown, the Sister Wives star. So, she seemed prepared to meet fans she happened by while in the city. Sister Wives star Tony Padron explains that inside Cody Brown's family, there are cliques. And if you find yourself outside of one it could be awful. While you might not catch it on the screen, Tony says it happens. He started this dialogue after Robin Brown reported she feels like an outsider, as do her kids. So, Tony explains that people within Cody Brown's family can feel that way from time to time. Even his wife McKelty Brown Padron felt like this before. That's because these cliques form, and you can find yourself an outsider if you are not included. Sister Wives Tony Padron spills the beans on Cody Brown's clan. Tony Padron and his wife McKelty Brown Padron are one of the few adults from inside Cody's family who have a relationship with Robin Brown. That's because when McKelty was a teen she was having problems at home with her siblings. So, she moved in with her father's fourth wife for a while. She helped out with the kids and looked at Robin as someone who was there for her. She really needed the kindness her father's youngest wife offered her at the time. So, when Tony Padron talks about clicks and finding yourself outside of one, it sounds like he knew a lot about it due to his wife's experience. Because of this, 
Tony and his wife explain how a bond formed with Cody Brown's youngest wife that is still strong today. Tony the family guy. Tony Padron seems the polar opposite of Cody Brown when it comes to taking on dad duties. The sister wives' moms were in charge of raising their kids. From what Christine Brown said, it sounds as if Cody did very little of the daily tasks associated with young kids. This former third wife of the sister wives' family told a story of how Cody wouldn't even put the kids to bed for her. The other moms helped one another early on. But it sounds as if Cody pretty much stayed a hands-free dad when it came to a lot of the work associated with raising kids. Then there's Tony Padron. His wife just spent time away with her mom and siblings in Europe. While Tony had help from his mom and sisters, he stayed home and happily took care of his three kids. And his babies are all under the age of three. Tony is also a one-woman husband who idolizes his wife. Sister Wives Cody's Family Quarrels while Tony and McKelty didn't do too much defending of Robin, the sister wife's daughter made it clear she has a bond with Robin. Their relationship has deep roots going back to a time when McKelty needed support. McKelty and Tony Patron were also part of that now defunct gift exchange between all of Cody Brown's children. Tempers flared as the children of Cody Brown attempted to orchestrate the exchange. But it failed horribly. McKelty said that the holiday exchange among her siblings got out of hand. Fans heard what the other wives had to say about it and formed the assumption that Cody Brown's wife number four got involved when maybe she shouldn't. It sounded like the kids started the exchange and Robin somehow involved herself in this. She tried to set up a video call for all Cody Brown's kids. But due to the schedules of the 25 people involved, there wasn't a time that worked for everyone. But instead, Robin took this as they refused to do the video call because it was her idea. Tony seemed to think his theory of sister wives clicks also played a part. Tony and McKelty Padron say it wasn't Robin Brown. McKelty said scheduling a video call failed for only one reason. Too many conflicting schedules were to blame, not Cody's youngest wife. But, the communication regarding this video call was done via text messages. So, as many people know, the written word in a message doesn't always sound like it was intended to sound. So, things were taken wrong, which ended the gift exchange with hurt feelings. It looks like more evidence for Tony Padron's theory of clicks surface on the next new Sister Wives episode. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box? And subscribe our channel.